And we can keep going on these, since these are fairly difficult problems and take a lot of practice to really get used to. So just rewriting, I've got x squared minus 51 equals 14x. And I'm going to move the number to the other side and the letters all to one side. So I'm going to subtract 14x to each side and add 51. So I get x squared minus 14x. I'll leave the space. This equals 51. Now, our a value in our formula is always going to be half the coefficient on x. So minus 7. And while you're doing these, I do encourage you to keep that formula by you until you feel like you have mastery of these. It's just nice to be able to reference that. So the number that we're going to add to each side is a squared. Minus 7 times minus 7 would be positive 49. So we are adding 49 on each side. And by doing that, we have transformed this into a perfect square. This is really just x plus a, and a is negative 7, squared. And again, you can multiply this out and prove to yourself that it does equal this. Or you can start from this and factor it and prove that it does equal this. Either way, they both are equivalent. And 51 plus 49 is 100. And that is the answer to question number one. So in that box, you're going to write x minus 7 squared equals 100. And from here, we just want to solve it. So we've got to solve by taking the square root. So we will square root both sides of this equation. And square and square root cancel, so you just get x minus 7. We have to put our plus or minus to account for the two solutions. And the square root of 100 is just 10. Now we'll add 7 to each side. So you get 7 plus or minus 10. 7 plus 10 is 17. 7 minus 10 is minus 3. But really, we just want this right here. 7 plus or minus 10, which you can see is choice letter C here. And we'll do another one of these. So for this problem, let me just rewrite it. Minus 2x equals x squared minus 6. So I'm going to move the minus 2x to the right-hand side. So I will add 2x on each side. And I'll move the minus 6 over to the left-hand side. So I will add 6 on each side. And like I said, I'm also adding 2x on each side. So these cancel and these cancel. So I get 6 is x squared plus 2x. And now I want to complete the square. So the a value, as always, is half the coefficient on x. So in this case, it's 1. So the number we have to add to each side is a squared, which is just 1. So adding 1 on each side of the equation, we get 7 on the left. And on the right, this is now a perfect square. We have x plus a, but a is 1. And we're squaring that. And now to solve this, well, before we do that, let's write this into the box here. So you have x plus 1 squared equals 7. And so to solve this now, we're going to square root everything. And we get plus or minus root 7 to account for the two solutions. And square and square root cancel. So you get x plus 1. And I'll move the 1 over here by subtracting 1 on each side. So I get x is minus 1 plus or minus root 7. So this is our final solution. There are two values there. And you can see choice letter B would be the correct answer.